we've just had a huge quake in the Ridgecrest area of California and we've had uh, magnitude what, what can I tell you they just keep on going uh, it's uh, not good okay we had a 5.5 magnitude earthquake Searles Valley and uh, the past hour that is and we've had I don't I can't even count them how many are there and at least another 10 in the past hour right on top of each other this is of course a volcanic area it's a volcanic field and uh, this is where we had the July 4th and 5th earthquakes of 6.4 and the uh, main shock of 7.1 and this is uh, an area of course where we have the if you see the video just before this one having to do with the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano earthquakes. As you'll see, we had a tremendous amount of quake swarms there, 3.5 and 3 magnitude. And these are the various volcanoes you have in that area. The Kosovo volcano, and the south of that is the Pisgah crater volcano, where we had another major, well, a moderate quake today. And of course, we have the mantle plume that goes from Baja California feeding up to uh, Yellowstone. We'll take a look at the map. It's the cross section from here. That mantle plume, the western part is under San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault System, and the eastern part, cross section here, goes up through Salt Lake City into Yellowstone Supervolcano and uh, turns west, as you can see here, and the, it's quite under the surface. It's high under the surface, under the area of Idaho, where we've had the 6.5 major quake that struck on the night of May, uh, March 31st to April 1st, and we still have quake swarms going on there. Here we are at Sizemo Berkeley. This is our area. The blue is the past day, and the red is the past hour. And this is the one that we're talking about, the 5.5 magnitude, Searles Valley, and oh they just now put in the shake map because as i saw it a few minutes ago they didn't have the shake intensity 237 people reported it uh, feeling it, it although that's not a very highly populated area and this is our aerial let's go to our shake intensity and i'm sure a lot more people must have felt that even going into uh, los angeles let's take a look at the faults garlic that's the garlic fault right there that's the ridgecrest area this is the san andreas fault san andreas there and the hayward fault here and uh, they meet at the pinnacles in california and this is the area of the long valley caldera right there where we have the quake swarms there and the uh, nevada very strange uh, extraordinary uh, hundreds of quakes a day and this is the walker lane fault system right there Okay, and so Long Valley Caldera has been shaking uh, in the past weeks because of that quake swarm, hundreds of them a day, and this is 5.5. Uh, is that now a foreshock to something bigger? We don't know, but you can see that if you extrapolate, okay, if you extrapolate, if you extrapolate the, because uh, they, they stop the block here, if you extrapolate the frequencies, I'm sure that... Uh, Los Angeles could have felt that shaking as well. So that is the area of our uh, plotted uh, volcanoes right there. Casa Volcano, the uh, various other volcano, Pisgah is right down here, where we had a three point something yesterday. Um, so that whole area is full of volcanoes, as you can see. Salton Sea right there is a volcano, and that has uh, geothermal plant there. We have a geothermal plant in Ridgecrest. We have another geothermal plant in Long Valley Caldera. Caldera. At the geysers, we have another geothermal plant. And, uh, um, okay, Nevada, as we said, we have the Nevada volcanoes. Where are we? Nevada volcanoes right there. All these are the Nevada volcanoes. These are the ones around Long Valley Caldera right here. And this is the cost of volcanic, closer to where we had our 
5.5 just now. And as you can see, a lot more volcanoes in that area of Southern California. Okay, what is this here? This, uh, this has to be the, uh, uh, the, this is the area of the uh, uh, Long Valley Caldera. Okay, so this is our whole area, San Bernardino Mountains volcanoes, and 5.5. Um, okay. Oh, a lot more has so as the minutes pass by we have a lot more uh, of course uh, coming in with um, reports that they felt the shaking here we are okay so that is a 5.5 magnitude and uh, obviously we have an area of uh, let's go here where are we Lavic Lake, Amboy, also the Casa Volcano. That's the closest one. East of the Sierra Nevada range. Uh, current status normal, one out of five. It consists of 38 old rhyolitic lava domes and basaltic cinder cones covering 400 square kilometer mile area. Volcano is located 200 kilometers north of Los Angeles, California. Eruptions in this area over the past 4 million years produced 35 square kilometers of lava. The youngest eruption is probably from the basaltic volcano peak cinder cone about 33,000 years ago. Caso geothermal system. There is geothermal activity. Trending zone, Sugarloaf Mountain, Caso hot springs. The Caso hot springs have fumaroles and intermittently active geysers. Fumaroles at Devil's Kitchen and the adjacent Nicole area are located in an explosion crater surrounded by Rylite uh, Lava Dome. So that's our area. Right there. The 5.1 5, uh, 5 now is coming in. I originally posted it, posted it at 5.1, but now they've changed this to a 5.5. Five. A, a few minutes later, they came in with a 5.5. So, okay, 5.5 instead of 5.1, 6.8 kilometers depth, 6.9 kilometers depth. So all of you there, please be very careful. It, uh, we do have a lot of very strange activity going on there. And as you can see, another 10, 20, 12, 15 volcanoes, uh, 3.2 after that. This is all within the hour. Um, and... Um, I just noticed it because I had a quick look at it. Okay. And uh, we have to be very careful. Be alert, all of you there in California, because look at this. Look what's going on here. And this thing here. Okay, that's a bigger one there. Okay, so I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.